Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I'm going to be showing off some movies that I recently cleaned mold off of, some VHS tapes. Uh, a buddy of mine, mm, a couple months back, gave me a, uh, a bunch of VHS tapes, and he didn't realize how moldy they were, or that some of them had mold. Uh, same guy that, during my, uh, my update with VHS and DVD and Blu-ray, gave me a bunch of, of uh, DVDs. Uh, these are the VHS tapes. Um, these are ones, I think I did show a couple of those in, in the other video as well. Uh, they didn't have mold, but these ones, like I said, did, and uh, I cleaned them off. Cleaned the mold off, they look brand new, um, you know, and I've watched a few of them. Not many, <laughs> I'll be honest, because it takes a while, and there's a lot of them, and I just want to get it done and get them out of there. But uh, I'm going to show show the ones that I have now that I cleaned now this one this is in a different case this was in another case and uh, it, it was the case was just shitty it smelled weird it was just bad but I put in this big clamshell that, that does not match but it's exterminators of the year 3000 and uh, like I said clean the mold off of it came out good I kind of do like it in this clamshell I know it's like a little too big for it but for now, I think that'll work. You know, it's ridiculously, you know, too big of a case. This used to be a Disney clamshell that I was saving to make, like, uh, my own custom cover for, uh, for, uh, some other movie. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Uh, another one here. I'm going to go through the clamshells first. Uh, this, this one is uh, Woman's Camp 119. Uh, and some of these, like, weren't too bad with mold. But there was, you know, you could see that it's starting. So I wanted to get that, you know, cleaned up. Uh, so got that. And uh, next one I got here is The Borrower. And it's, uh, you know, a lot of some, obviously these are cut boxes and stuff like that. Uh, I don't mind if they're free. I'd rather not have them in a cut box. But, you know, if I don't have the movie and I want to see it, whatever. But, you know, nice canon movie here. I haven't seen this, but it 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 does sound like it's good. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it just sounds like incredibly cheesy and good times. Uh, this one, my mom's a werewolf, and uh, I remember seeing this cover back in the day, and I never watched it. I don't know why I never watched it, but I'm not gonna take the tapes out. Um, but they do look good. There are some that. I have uh, taken pictures of, and by the way, this isn't even all of them. This is like maybe, this is probably about half. I still have a bunch more that I'm, I'm still doing, and I'll show them in another update when I get them all done. But these are like, these are like, I, I think these are like awesome ones. Not that the other ones are bad, but these are like a little more rare. Um, but this one, The Stranger Within, that's a pretty cool clam, uh, clam shell case I like that but uh the stranger within old movie I really like that cover too it's pretty scary uh, so yeah there's that and like I said I'll be showing pictures of some of them that I did clean uh, some sometimes I would start cleaning it and I, I forgot to take a picture but I'll show you for the ones that I do have I'll show you the the picture and uh, you could see like the before and after it's it's amazing like and sometimes I'll be honest the pictures don't Sometimes it won't, it'll be like, you didn't clean that 100%. That doesn't look great. Believe me, it's hard to get a picture of it without a glare. But uh, just trust me, I would not put these in my player if uh, I wasn't 100% you know, satisfied with the cleaning and you know, thought it would be safe that it would not contaminate my other uh, tapes. Also, I did not clean them in here because you... If you clean in here, the possibility of that mold and getting onto another one, uh, you know, it could contaminate your movie. So, you know, don't do that. And uh, I want to thank Dan Can Canem, Can I don't know. Uh, he has a video on YouTube that showed me how to do this. And he actually learned from reading the articles from Lunch Meat. So, thanks to Lunch Meat, thanks to Dan. Uh, I already did thank Dan, actually, but now in a video. Um, moving on, though. But, uh, yeah, Alone in the Dark. That's an awesome cover. I just, it's just really cool looking. Some of these cases aren't in the best of shape, but like the bottom's kind of ripped. It does open on the side, and they are kind of 
dirty. I, I do have to actually clean that a, lo a little bit, but low in the dark. I haven't watched it yet, but it's, it sounds interesting. This one, I really want to watch, but I haven't seen it. And uh, that's the comic. He's a real cut up. And uh, it, it just looks like good cheese fun. And some of these, like I said, are kind of rare. Like you don't really, you don't see this stuff a lot out, you know, in a while. And I did look up prices on eBay. And like, you know, they're not like, I'm not going to retire from any of these or anything. But, you know, it's, they're, it's just awesome to have. Uh, this one, Teen Alien. I like that cover. It's pretty cool. Uh, some of them did come with like, like the, like this, the label on there. Some of them have them on here. A lot of them had, I, but you know, it was hard to get it open. So I had to like, like if it had like a sticker or something on the side, I, I kind of had to cut through the sticker to open it up. But it's not a big deal. Uh, this one, a full moon movie, Seed People. I wouldn't, I never saw this and I always loved that cover. I always thought that looked really cool. Kind of reminds me of Ernest Scared Stupid, like like the creature that, uh, well not the creature, but like, I don't know, just, I don't know why it reminded me of it to be honest, but it just does. In, in my head, I guess the, the creature or something, I don't fucking know. Uh, next up we have Blood Beach, the good media release. Um, I haven't watched this yet either, but it sounds like a fun time. It's so, it sounds like a cheesy uh, tagline too, like, you know, uh, just when you thought it was safe to go, go to go back in the water, you can't get to it. <laughs> that just sounds like awesome. And that's kind of scary too. And uh, this one, this was actually the first one I saw of the VHSs that he were, was giving me that I was surprised and in an ant mold but uh the meat eater check that one out <laughs> uh this one uh, this doesn't go for much but i don't know crucible of terror it's kind of a creepy cover check that one out here's another trauma movie trauma collector collector's edition blood sucking freaks yeah, good trauma, nice, good cheesy trauma fun. Uh, this one I already have this movie, but this is in the um, the uh, Star Maker case. Uh, about the case I have for this, is, it's it's terrible condition. So I'm kind of glad to, to have this one. But that's making contact. I sort of remember this from when I was younger. I probably said it when I showed that I got the making contact, but I I just remember that dummy. For some reason, I don't remember much else. I just remember seeing it, and I'm like, I have to get that movie. I think for some reason in my head, I liked it back in the day. I don't know. So moving on here, this one I actually wasn't from that guy that I got these from. Uh, this is from a couple people I work with. They said they found this in their player, and they said, "Oh, hey, I Tony would like this," so he gave it to me, and uh, I I didn't notice it at first, but then. Uh, it I noticed a tiny little bit of mold and I'm sure they didn't notice it because it was hard to see so I cleaned it up quick clean and uh, I'm actually glad to own this because I, I I've seen the cover so many times in different horror groups and I wanted to to you know watch it but that's Jacko you know nice cool killer pumpkin movie uh, never I haven't watched it yet I, I really haven't watched a lot because I've been cleaning these and you know nights I take off I have to watch other things to review and uh, it's just you know but I am getting to them I have watched two two of these <laughs> that's horrible uh, this one is Saturday the 14th Embassy Home Entertainment unfortunately with this too uh, the, the this got ruined and it, it sucks you know i couldn't get it open sometimes the screws too um when you take it off the tape it like would get stuck it couldn't get it open so you had to like try your best not to break the fucking tape while you're trying to open it it, it was it was tough but i figure these aren't going anywhere it sucks the labels ugly but hey whatever uh they're not going anywhere and if somebody doesn't care if i ever do get rid of them uh you know trade or whatever you 
as long as they don't I'm not gonna not show them that so but I'm not getting rid of it so it doesn't matter Saturday the 14th and this one uh, I this just kind of looks plain but then I I read that Zach Galligan is in this and uh, Catherine Mary Stewart is in this but Zach Galligan I was like oh that's cool I didn't you know, I'm you know, you know from Gremlins. I think my favorite movie that that he's ever been in was Waxwork. Uh, Waxwork's a fucking fantastic movie. I have it, uh, which is another movie that I forgot to show in my update, uh, the last update I had. That was the movie. I was like I think I have another one. I don't know where it was. It was Waxwork. Great movie, um, and it just came on Blu-ray, one and two, which I'm looking forward to finally seeing. But anyway, this one, Psychic. See, it's a supernatural thriller, but, uh, you know, Zach Allegan's in it, so I know I'm going to check that one out and, and like it. Uh, this one I watched the trailer for, and it just looks, it looks like an 80s, you know, sex comedy kind of thing. Uh, it kind of reminded me of um, Thelma and Louise in a way, or, or maybe even Legend of Billie Jean, and that's Assault of the Killer Bimbos. Obviously not like exactly like those, but like along those lines, they get caught or they get framed for killing somebody and then they're on the run and all that shit. So it's kind of like Legend of Billy Jean, you know, like they, he, you, you know, if you've seen the movie, I'm not going to go through it. It's not a, I have a review up if you want to go check it out. Uh, but uh, Assault of the Killer Bimbos. I don't know. I, I like the, the 80s sex comedy kind of movies. Um, I'm a pervert and I like boobies whatever who cares uh, this one uh, I actually put it in the other night and I was very tired and I didn't get to actually watch it but I started to uh, you know the beginning credits at least uh, possession until death do you part and uh, yeah it looks it looks pretty pretty creepy I haven't been showing anybody the tapes and uh, but if you've seen a tape you've seen a tape uh, but trust me, they're they're they just look like you know new, and like I said, I'll show some pictures of them. Uh, this one, I don't know, it, it it's it's a, like a looks like a horror western kind of thing, and that's Devil Rider. I kind of like that cover from uh, what is this from? M E two, I don't know, catalog number seven zero zero nine, uh, but uh. Yeah, I I want to watch this a horror western. It says that's pretty cool. I like horror westerns. Uh, this one it's not a horror or anything, but this looks like a a really cool um, like racing kind of movie. It's from the makers of Gone in sixty seconds and The Junk Man, and it looks like a really quick car kind of movie, but uh, Deadline Auto Theft. And uh, it just, it actually looks pretty cool. Like, I, I do kind of like, at least I used to like those kind of movies. Uh, but, I don't know, that kind of looks pretty cool. I haven't seen the original Gone in 60 Seconds, to be honest. But uh, I liked, I do like the remake. Um, I don't know how I feel now watching it, but I did like it last I saw. And I like Nicolas Cage. I know, I know a lot of people are like, eh, with him. But I like him, I don't care. Uh, this one, I actually have the Blu-ray to the or the DVD to this, and uh, I think that one's like out of print and, and rare or whatever, and uh, so, and I'm supposed to do I was supposed to do a review of it a long time ago, and I'm still getting to it, <laughs> but now I have the VHS too, and uh, that's the Clown Murders with uh, John Candy, and uh, I didn't even watch the trailer for it or anything. Um, but because a lot of I mean even like nowadays trailers give away a lot of things but back then they gave away a lot like you I don't know it's I don't like watching a trailer right before I'm gonna go like a day or so before I'm gonna go watch the movie because it's in my head I'll remember it but uh, this was actually the first movie that I cleaned and I thought it wasn't gonna. It wasn't working right. And here, the wire on the back of the VH, uh, VCR um, was like, was I don't know. It was weird. I guess I didn't have it in all the way or whatever. I don't know. But then it was working. I'm like, oh good, because I thought, well, if I, this looks clean and it's not working, it had to either the mold ate through the tape, or or you know, it's just it's that bad. 
but it worked and and this just from what I was watching looked kind of funny and there was a lot of familiar faces in it but uh, it's young doctors in love <laughs> uh, from video treasures it just looked r really funny Michael McKean's in it um, you know it says on here Lenny of Laverne and Shirley but you know, you know also I know him from Spinal Tap and like he's in a ton of things uh, throughout the years a really great actor uh, but there's like so many people in this that I've recognized their faces and it was like wow you know just awesome like Dabney Coleman Sean Young Hector Elizondo uh, you know good stuff but it looked like a funny kind of movie this one I was kind of pissed at first when I was I or I'm not pissed but I was up, upset I was like oh man I want that movie and it's moldy and like I said now I cleaned it but uh rest in peace that's an awesome cover I love that cover the back is looks very interesting like <sighs> I really, really want to watch this. It's and that's another thing. It's hard to pick a movie that I really want to watch, because it's like I have so many good ones that I haven't seen. It's like, uh, which one am I gonna watch? Which one, you know, am I gonna really pay attention to? So, there, I I want to get to I want to get to all these. I'm very tired. I'm just gonna yawn. I'm not gonna edit it. Ugh. There you go. I hope if I made you yawn just now, I want I want to know. Let me know. Um, and not because I'm boring. I'm, I mean because I yawned. I yawned. Okay. This one, uh, I've actually had people ask if they wanted me to trade for anything for it. And uh, I'm not getting rid of this because I did watch. This is one that I watched. And I thought it was, like, awesome. I thought it was, it was some great practical effects. It was cheesy. It was crazy. Uh, it was, I don't know, it was just really cool and it was cool to see I don't know his name but the the main doc the doctor the asshole doctor in uh, reanimator is in this movie and and he kind of was and he kind of was a jerk but he wasn't like he wasn't that where he was a scary jerk you know he just it was different he seemed calm more calm but anyway that's the brain that this was like look at that that is scary as shit but it was also very cool because it's a fucking like it eats this girl, right? And it's it, like the fucking top of it's like it's a brain at first. It's a big brain, and it eats this girl. And you just see it. It's kind of like, kind of like, uh, you know, um, what's her, what? Oh, Jesus Christ! Little Shop of Horrors. It's kind of like Audrey too at first, where except it's eating kind of like sideways onto the guy. Like it, oh, it's, I can't even. It, it was just such a cool part. And I, I remember watching. It, I was like. Oh my god like that was awesome <laughs> great this is a great movie I really enjoyed this movie a lot um, and I want to rewatch it you know but I want to get to other ones first now this one was the first one I watched and a lot of people were jealous that I had this or that this one they want for their collection uh, I've seen this cover before and it just looks and it is it's bad very very bad but uh, so much fun so much fun I'm so glad I have this movie here's another yard for everybody oh, I'm very sorry about that it's like midnight right now uh, but the movie is Robo Vampire yes that looks like Robocop on the cover and there is vampires in this movie the vampires are absolutely crazy it's like a it's a Taiwan movie I believe uh, I'm I'm it's not a, an American movie. I know that. Uh, I want to say Taiwan, and it's basically like this guy. Uh, he's I'm not. I'm just gonna say it. he's like a narcotics agent, and um, basically gets killed, and they make him uh, into like kind of like RoboCop. They kind of like he gets killed in the line of duty, and they make him into this RoboCop kind of looking kind of thing. But he he looks kind of like a like a, a ja I know it's not Japanese, but he looks like a like a like an Asian warrior, you know, like like a samurai in a way, but it's all silver, and he has like the robotic kind of voice in that. It's just really cool. And then there's like vampires who like have their arms out and they hop like this at you, and then they like shoot things out of their fingers like a gun almost. It's just so fucking good. It is 
like incredible I, I i thought this was like so much fun to watch this is definitely a movie that you could you could watch sober or drunk it's probably more fun drunk but my god this has such rewatchability it's so bad if you're into this oh my god i'm so sorry <laughs> with that being said uh i think i'm gonna end the video now plus that's the last one this is the last one of this batch so like i said uh this is part one this will be part one uh of the ones i'm cleaning and uh i already have a few other ones started but uh yeah this is part one so i have here one two three four five, six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty forty fifty sixteen seventy eighty ninety twenty twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six i cleaned twenty six so far and i have probably about twenty more to go it's gonna take a while but enjoy this first part let me know which one of these you you want me to watch and possibly review what do you want my opinion on uh which one do you think is your favorite which one would you want to watch first um you know and anything like that anything you want to say um but yeah that's it oh and if you want to want the link to the uh to where you could clean the their mold off the tapes because they you know a lot of people just throw them out they are salvageable some of them are really bad that you know probably wouldn't work but uh i'll send you the link to the tape well, actually no i'll put it in the description you check out the description below and i'll have a link to dan's video it's an excellent video tells you everything you need and i'll also send you put the link i won't send it to you i'll put the link in below below to the lunch meat blog as well the uh, article and it tells you how to do it in there uh dan kind of tweaks it a little bit he has a little more couple more steps to it but uh either one you'll figure it out uh perfectly and like i said dan will show you how to do it too and uh it's it, it obviously works the movies look great um and i'm happy with this I'm, I'm very happy now uh you know that i didn't have to throw any of these out because i almost did and then i'm like i'm gonna try to clean them because they're kind of rare you know they're not something you see all the time uh so i'm glad i didn't throw them out and now i have a whole bunch of new awesome tapes so with that being said thanks everybody for watching give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button follow me on facebook instagram twitter tumblr harmino and twitch whatever or don't just leave a comment and come back next time for another video thanks everybody for watching talk to you later bye